Hello, สบายดี Welcome to my channel. My name is Nali. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my crispy, delicious egg roll. Here is what you're going to need. Let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need one pack of the spring roll shells or egg roll wrappers. I got this from the frozen area, so make sure you get it in the frozen area. Do not get the one that's in the fridge. That one is much more thicker, and when you fry it, it tends to be bubbly. Those are good for crab ragoon, but not for um, egg rolls. So get the one in the freezer. This right here has uh, approximately 25 piece, and that's perfect for the amount that we're going to be making today. So just make sure you get it, and leave it out for one hour before you make your um, egg rolls. So since we got this from the frozen area, I did thaw it out one hour before I prep all this. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and open it and tear it out sheet by sheet, just like this. Just get it all out, and then after that, just put it underneath a cloth, so that way you could save it for um, when you're ready to roll up your egg rolls. After you tear all your egg roll wrappers, you want to get this bean thread noodles. I got this from my um, Walmart. It's either called bean thread noodles or glass noodle as some call it. Um, I'm, this comes in a big pack, so I'm just using the two small ones inside. And what I do is I, um, I, mean, I soak them in very warm water for five to seven minutes. I'm going to let that soak and start on my vegetable. So here are the vegetables that I'm using today. I'm going to be using one cup of um, minced onion, one cup of sliced carrots, and one cup of thinly sliced cabbage. And for the ground pork, I do have, I believe, is 1.1 pound. Okay, I'm just going to mince my onion, and all I need is one cup for this recipe. And I'm also going to need one cup of sliced carrots. I know some people don't like carrots, so if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. So for the cabbage, we're going to thinly slice just one cup. Okay, now that we got our vegetables sliced and diced, here is everything that you're going to need. 1.1 pound of um, ground pork, 1 cup of sliced carrots, 1 cup of sliced cabbage, and 1 cup of minced uh, onion. One tablespoon of um, seasoning soy sauce, and here's the brand that I use. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce, and here is the brand that I use. And one tablespoon of sugar, white sugar. And a pinch of MSG, which is always optional. And one teaspoon of fish sauce, and picture above is the kind that I use. And if you don't have fish sauce at your house, don't worry about it. You could substitute it with just a pinch of salt. A half teaspoon of white pepper. A half teaspoon of black pepper. If you don't have white pepper, just put more black pepper. And you're also going to need one egg. And the egg, we're going to beat it up. And that's what we're going to use to seal our egg roll wrap. So I'm going to give this a good beating and after that, set it aside. So now we're going to put everything in a large bowl, put in your ground pork, that was 1.1 pound, and then put in your one cup of onion, the minced onion, add in your one cup of sliced carrots, add the one cup of sliced cabbage, Add in your white pepper and black pepper. Add in your MSG. Remember, I said this was a pinch of MSG and it's optional. Add your white sugar. And if you don't have fish sauce, you could always use a pinch of salt. Add in your fish sauce. Add in your seasoning soy sauce. Add in your oyster sauce. Make sure to get all of it out. Isn't that just the cutest spatula? It's a tiny one that I got from Target. I guess it was left over from Christmas sale. It was like 25 cents each. Add in your soaked glass noodle or bean thread noodles. And I just cut them up into like smaller size because they're pretty long, the thread. Now that I got everything in a bowl, I'm going to go ahead and give this a really, really good mix. I just want to make sure everything is incorporated together. 
If you find this video useful so far, please hit like and subscribe for future video. When you're mixing this together, make sure you get all of them mixed together really, really good. Okay, now that we're done, it should look like this. Let's start wrapping. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple times how to do it. And I do use this tablespoon to scoop it, so I kind of somewhat have them the same size all the time. So I'm going to use the one tablespoon to scoop up the meat and then go ahead and put it in the, um, our egg roll shell, just like that just one tablespoon and once you roll it all the way to the middle like to the edge of the corner you want to go ahead and fold it yep just like that on both sides and just keep it tight like that and now for the egg wash you want to go ahead and spread it so that way when you close the egg roll wrap it seals it up and be generous when you're putting the egg wash on the egg roll wrap because you want to make sure it's sealed so when you're frying it it doesn't open up so after you put the egg wash on there just seal it up just wrap it as tight as you can see voila look how cute that is like perfect and also if that edge right there don't close down just go ahead and put a little bit of egg wash on top of it just like that okay i'm going to show you a couple more just repeating it so earlier i did mention that in the egg roll wrap there is a total of 25 wrappers in there and this right here makes perfect perfect 25 egg rolls by the time you're done so it's actually perfect portion just make sure when you're scooping the uh, meat into the egg roll wrap before wrapping it that it is a total of one tablespoon okay now that we're close to done all of your mix should be all used up see like how i said 25 wrapper makes this ingredients portion mix perfect all 25 used up and just don't forget make sure you get the one from the frozen um, section all right okay now that we're done wrapping all 25 of them look at them aren't they so beautiful let's get started and let's start frying them here i have my heat on medium heat and i'm just adding the cooking oil you could use whatever cooking oil you want use the cooking oil of your choice i'm just adding enough cooking oil to where it's going to cover my egg rolls when i put it in there so my cooking oil has been on the heat for three minutes on medium heat it's ready so i went ahead and put in my egg roll the egg roll that i wrapped they're not too thick or too big so um it only takes five to six minutes to cook whatever you do please do not overcrowd your pan right here i do just put five at a time so after five six minutes of being um, in there it's already all cooked i am going to go ahead and repeat the process till all of it is cooked i am cooking a total of all 25 of the ones i wrapped today because i'm going to give some to my kids and my sisters okay after five six minutes of being in the pan they're all done see how golden crispy brown they are and do not eat them right away because you do need to put in a cooling rack just wait for it to cool give it a minute or two i know it's tempting and wanting to eat it right now but then trust me you're gonna burn your mouth and of course like i said repeat the process putting five at a time and look at this beauty aren't they so beautiful look at how golden brown they are I just can't wait to eat it. It's just not cooling fast enough, but I know I gotta wait. And for the sweet dipping sauce that I always use for my egg roll if I don't make my own is this Meploy one, the sweet chili sauce. It is the best sweet chili sauce. If you don't feel like making your own, trust me, you wanna get this Meploy sweet chili sauce. It is really good. And wow, just look at that. Now that we're all done, all 25 egg rolls, crispy, yummy, golden brown oh my gosh look at it okay i'm gonna go ahead and serve this in a platter with the sweet sour sauce and here's the moment i've been waiting for for it to cool down and eat it yum listen to the crispy crunch i mean this is how crispy it is i hope you guys give it a try and thank you so much for watching my video have a great day